Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sharifa and today I'm here to do a full face of first impressions. I know I haven't uploaded it in a while, I'm sorry about that, but things have just been kind of crazy in my life lately and uh, recently I've just been really busy with some projects which I'm really really excited about but you'll know more about that in a few months. But um, I did get some new things, a couple of them are PR but most of them are things I've bought and I wanted to really try out. Uh, so yeah, oh my god this ponytail is so tight. Oh, uh, oh that was hurting my head. Okay, So I'm just gonna get started, I'm actually gonna start with this moisturizer. I, I was sent like this whole line of uh, skincare, this is Nia, how was it pronounced? Naya, Naya, because I remember the email they sent me and it said Naya like Maya. <laughs> okay, so this is the fully charged serum and moisturizer. And they sent me a whole bunch of other skincare stuff. I'm going to be trying them out. Like uh, they have this peel off mask and uh, cleansers and anti aging stuff, which I need. And something for tightening your neck, which I also need because I have a lot of wrinkles in my neck. So I'm excited for all that stuff. Oh, by the way, Naya N I A stands for not into aging. And I really like that name because I'm not into Asian. <laughs> Who the hell is? Uh, aging gracefully, of course, but I'm not really. This, the Lazy Girl's Answer. Oh my god, this looks like they know me. To visibly healthy, glowing skin now and in the future. Po um, formulated with skin optimizing, something, something, blend of hyaluronic acid and dragon fruit extract. I know dragon fruit did anything. Blah, 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 skin aging radiant. Yeah, okay. So it feels really good on the skin. It's already kind of dried, but it doesn't feel dry. So we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on how this works because obviously I'm moisturizer. You're not gonna know right away. This takes like it has to keep my face moisturized all day long. So I'm gonna use a primer. I'm actually gonna use this uh, Gleam Body Radiance. It's a Melanie Mills Hollywood collab with Sandra Deluxe, who I love. If you ever haven't watched her makeup videos, you should. It's like a work of art. The way she applies makeup, it's like literally she's like slapping things on her face and literally slaps her face around. And then the end result is like perfection. And it really, really, really pisses me off because I just want to know how she does that. But I love her. It's a collab with Melanie Mills and she uses it in a lot of her videos and her skin always looks really amazing. So I want to see if it does that for me. It's like a very gold kind of thing. Probably is too much. But let's see how this works out. Okay, it definitely adds a glow. Okay, before I apply foundation, I'm gonna go with these. These are the uh, L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Blenders. This is the foundation blender, and then they have a contour blender, a concealer blender, and you don't really need like three different sponges, but I just wanted to see how they work and if it makes a difference to have like three different sponges as opposed to one. I mean, it's kind of like having three different brushes, so I'm just going to wet these and I'll be right back. My hair is coming out. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I've never used this. This is a PR package. I'm pretty sure this is my color. Let's see. Let me just apply a little bit. Oh no. I don't think this is my color. This looks very light. Okay, let's just try to blend this out with the sponge. That's not my color. <laughs> So that didn't work out, I'm just going to moisturize and apply the thing again because I took it off on that side. <gasps> I'm so sad. I actually do have another foundation. I had um, tried to do a first impressions before with this one, but it didn't work out. So this is technically not a first impressions because I already kind of know how this works. Um, so Stellar Beauty, it's a new uh, brand that's available at Sephora. So they sent me a little package with a bunch of stuff. This is actually created for, it's created for everyone, but it's specifically targets South Asian skin tone which I thought was really amazing when they first reached out to me I was just like yes that sounds amazing they cater to all shades but they over cater to South Asian skin tones so it works I'm gonna try this again um, I'm in the shade S10 apply this this actually works really well this blender um, I'm like super shocked because a lot of the only other blender that I really like that's affordable is uh, the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. But you know, those like beauty blender dupes are always terrible and they're always like too hard. But this is really soft and it's blending out so fast. I'm like super impressed. So, this is, is my shade. It's weird though that they 
match me so perfectly because I didn't tell them like they just like sent me one foundation and then it's my shade. So the coverage is light medium I would say. It's not it's not really like full coverage. I believe this was eight dollars. Not bad considering the beauty blender is twenty five. I still do love the beauty blender. Um I was a little late on the whole beauty blender. It's such a hard word to say. I always wanna say booty blender. <laughs> comes off more naturally. I don't know why the word booty comes off more naturally, but booty 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 recognize the way. So I was a little late on the beauty blender like wagon and stuff. I did not want to spend twenty five dollars. Um but I've learned to not be as cheap and like you know there's some things that are worth it to spend the extra money on. Um because here's the thing with the real techniques beauty sport I've learned it's really great. It works really amazingly but it doesn't last as long. I started to notice that I was going through more Real Techniques sponges and I was like buying them more often but the Beauty Blender I haven't like had to repurchase. Like, I mean I repurchased because they had like a big sale so I kept them for like backup but I've had the same Beauty Blender and it's been like working well for a while now and I had to repurchase the Real Techniques sponge so I guess in the long run it's better to buy the Beauty Blender especially if it's, like, there's like a sale on it. It sucks because I really like the Real Techniques sponge, but it does rip. I mean, have any of you guys ever noticed it? Am I like not taking care of it well? Because I've noticed it starts to rip and get like all crazy really fast. I don't know if it's just me. Anyway, so I, I like the foundation so far. It, it's a little bit too light. I've just recently started to really like fuller coverage foundations, um, mainly because I have like all this like kind of pigmentation that's like coming out more and more. Um, lately, maybe with age or something, I don't know, so the fuller coverage foundations cover up more. This is not covering up as much, but maybe we could fix that with some concealer. So, for a concealer, I'm going to be trying out the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealers. I've never tried these. I think I might have tried them once. Okay, this is like half, kind of, <laughs> first impressions, just whatever. This is Y441. Yeah. That's good. I just conceal a little bit on my mouth. I want to do my forehead. Okay, so this is the concealer brush. Is that more water? It's not as impressive as the other one. With this one, I feel like let's see how this would work. Because you can definitely just use this one. Let's see this side. Does it do anything? It just blends out so fast. So I do like this, I just don't think it's really necessary. I feel like this does the work and this one is softer and squishier. Oh, I want to try out the contour one, but I don't have a contour product, do I? Is this color to contour? This is Y49. Oh my god. Well, that's liquidy. Oh my god, I hope that... Oh god, what did I do? What did I do? Why do I make everything dirty? Um, I don't know. You see it like it draws out the contour line. Oh my god, this is not good. Okay, let's just. Okay. Oh god, this is hard to work with. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, this is so messy. This is. Oh yeah, I think. Okay, I think this. You should use this side. So it's a little hard to work with at first. I think you just need to. I think I need to practice with this more, but it's blending out really nicely. I like the thing because you know, I could see you could get like a really sharp, sharp contour, but you know, I've kind of just gone crazy. So I'm just going to use this one, <laughs> apply a little bit more foundation on top of that, just to kind of fix that. Um, I'm going to also set my under eyes with this Makeup Forever powder. So I'm going to set one side because I'm going to use something else for the other side. I just want to see. Oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, that looks so smooth. My underwear looks so smooth. <gasps> I love you. Okay, so the other one is this is actually the uh, Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in Banana. So this is like the dupe, obviously, for the other banana powder. Um, but I just want to see. I have the powder. I'm gonna take the concealer part. Just 
wait for it to do its thing. Like throw it on my chin. Put it on my forehead. So. That's it. Alright, guys. So I'm just filling my brows in with uh, the brow definer by Anastasia in granite. So technically, it's not a full face of first impressions, but it's like one part. So it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna brush that off. Okay, um, so it did a good job of setting it and it's, you know, not looking like cakey or anything like that. However, the Makeup Forever side is just so much more flawless. It's more pigmented and it just like really smooths out my under eyes. So, it's cheaper, but this is so nice. You probably see, right? This under eyes look just so, and this is like, it's good, but it's not like, that's good. Okay, so I will set this back a palette. This is the Sun Chaser palette. It has a bronzer, blush, and a shimmering skin perfector in opal. So I've tried opal before, and opal is very nice. And this is a very pretty, uh, like, apricot-y looking blush. It's actually called, like, apricot flower or something. Apricot blossom. Um, the bronzer has some shimmer, so I'm, I'm curious to see how it works. I mean, I guess for the summer it would be really great because it's, you know, adding shimmer. Red. This bronzer looks red. It looks red and looks crazy. <laughs> okay, let's try to do something about that. Okay. To balance out the red, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Contour Duo. I'm gonna use this side because it's more like since it has like a grayer undertone. Just think it's doing something. I'm just okay. So. Bronzer is not the best, but let's try the other colors. Mm, that's pretty. Mm, that's pretty. <laughs> okay, I applied too much. So because I already know how opal is gonna look, I'm not gonna try it. Um, I am gonna try this Shea Moisture highlighter. So it's yeah, it's looking slightly dark. Oh no. Oh no, I think this is going to be nice. Okay. Type of excess. Okay, that is so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty, do you guys see that? Oh, oh, I love this. Okay, so this is the Mineral Shea Glow Sparkling Rosé. Next, I'm going to do my eyes. I'm going to use the um, Makeup Revolution shadow no photos please eyeshadow palette for the long name and they have a primer that comes with it i think this is really cool packaging it's like no photos please oh woo, what 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 this palette right here very pretty colors let me prime my eyes first let's see how this primer works i think i'm gonna use the green and the black I'm gonna take the black. Oh, that's so pigmented. Should you guys come closer? Build on that black. Let's do a really dramatic eye, you guys. I feel like I haven't done something super dramatic in a while. I'm just gonna blend out the edges of that. I'm gonna use the green one to apply this with my finger. I actually have the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating. It's actually very pigmented, but I just wanted to see if it could get even more pigmented, and it can. This light color here for the insides. Blend that into the green so it doesn't look so like, like, you know, like it blends together. So I'm gonna be trying this new infallible paint, eye paint by L'Oreal. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this um, Essence to the False Lashes Mascara. If you guys follow me, you know I love the Essence Lash Princess, it's my favorite mascara, so I just really want to see if they had a better one than that. I see because of my eyeliner, but it's pretty nice. It made them really long. I don't think it added much volume, 
the eyeliner, it's not as black as I would have liked. So, it's nice. I'm gonna probably use it more for, probably for every day. I think on top of eyeshadow though, it's just not as pigmented as I would like. So, so I applied black eyeliner. It's an old one. It's, it's just a L'Oreal Extra Intense one. I didn't have a new black eyeliner to try out. I wasn't planning on using black eyeliner, eyeliner but I feel like it just goes with the look. So, um, sorry. So that's like two things that are not first impressions, but... That's okay, right? I'm just gonna blend out with the, some black from the Makeup Revolution palette. Apply some mascara to the bottom lashes. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use this lipstick by the Tattoo Junkie. So I only know about this brand because of Tati. Um, I'm pretty sure I might be just going crazy and totally wrong, but she like raved about this brand, I believe, in a video. So. I wanted to try it, so I'm using this color in Skinny Dip. Those. Oh, that works. Applied nicely, so let's see how it dries. So I'm gonna try these lashes. These are the Allure Vegas Nate Absolute Allure lashes. I really like um, her collaboration with Allure. Uh, Grand Glamour is like one of my favorites, so I wanted to see this. And I don't ever use this kind of style, like this like thick kind of wispy. Okay, lashes are on, and I actually really love them. They're super dramatic, but I love them. And they're really easy to put on because they have a really thin band. So those are great. And then I just applied some of this, um, the Profix Spray from Makeup Revolution all over again. <laughs> but it actually did really set my face and took away a little bit of the cakiness, which I think was caused by the foundation. You see some dryness. But the spray actually fixed it really well, so it's wearable, it's definitely doable Like if you use like a fixing spray or something, but um, before that I did notice it was looking really cakey, but the color match is perfect. So I would actually really recommend you guys to check them out at Sephora and see if you could find your color. The color range for like South Asian brown skin tones was incredible, like a huge range of medium skin tones. So I definitely think it's worth it to give it a try. Okay, and then what else? So the eyeshadow palette love 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 this palette that works really well I, I like the uh, concealer one that I think is it would be useful but my favorite is definitely this one right here this is awesome <laughs> this one me and him did not get along so I don't know what to pass on that but definitely this works really really well I think I'm gonna be using this a lot from now on I really like the spray it works really well and it did make the eyeshadow more vibrant so yes to this um, I'm gonna say pass on this. I prefer my Sasha Buttercup if I want something really yellow. I didn't really cover as much as I would like because like the Sasha Buttercup covers and it makes my under eyes brighter and like more yellow. So I would say pass on this. I'm not like a huge fan of it. I like the concealer. Not in love with them, but I do like the concealer. This. I love this. Oh my god. I'm so happy because I use the same two under eye powders. I use my Anastasia. Banana and I use the Wet n Wild Caramel Toffee one and I always use those and I know some of you guys get bored of me using the same things over and over again so I'm happy to have a new one. This is really really awesome. I don't really like this that much. It's a little bit sticky and it also like is kind of settling into my fine lines so I don't love this. Pass on the Infallible paint. Uh, it's just not that block. There's other ones in the drugstore that are more black so no to that. I like this. I'm going to use this more. I want to see what, how it looks without like a dark eye. Lashes. Love them. Okay, so the Becca palette, I just, I think it's just like the bronzer kind of ruins it. It's just way too red for me. Maybe it works better in the summer when I have a little bit more of a tan. But I do love Opal and I like this blush. It's really pretty. It's very pigmented. It's very pretty. I like more subtle blushes. I don't like blushes that you apply and it's just like, oh no, too much. Like I feel like really pigmented brush, uh, blushes can look it's like hard to work with and you can, can look patchy so I, I prefer like subtler blushes that also forget to mention oh so pretty Shea Moisture oh I love this and you know you guys know I don't use highlighter that often I'm not like a huge highlighter person sometimes I love it sometimes I'm just like meh I prefer like a matte face but oh my god look at that it is so pretty I have more Shea Moisture stuff because so far, I've been loving like most of their things. Um, I can't really tell if this works or not because you know I apply stuff over it. But I will say, um, when I went to the bathroom to wet the sponges, I did notice my face looked just really glowy. Um, so I think maybe I'll 
wear this just alone with the moisturizer speaking of like the moisturizer so far it feels good um again I would definitely have to keep trying this. I think that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry again for being gone. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know why I've been gone. I just I don't really feel like talking about it on here. Um, but I am trying. I just have a lot of stuff going on. Today's my husband's birthday, so I'm going to go and cook him his favorite meal. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know if you'd like more of these first impression, full face, chatty, like... Get ready with me. So. And how much? I really can't stop looking at this highlighter. Like, ooh, it looks so good on camera. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.